Hello everyone, my name is Kieran Pritala, founder and CEO of End to End Services. I am super grateful for the honor to speak. I think uh, Jay and Paul have teed it off perfectly on where we are with higher education in general and community colleges in particular. All of you are leaders of higher education, truly trying to transform education. But like Paul and Jay have been saying, we are at true crossroads, crossroads here. The students are in a, what's called a TikTok generation where they expect everything to be served up in 15 second increments. But the academy is still in a credit hour basis, talking about credit hours, transcripts, and degrees. And on the other hand, faculty members are focused on classroom instruction when, when students are expecting highly engaging content just like they see on Instagram, TikTok, ChatGPT, and the like. But just like Paul said, community colleges are open access and they pride on affordable and accessible education, but there's also a risk that they're dealing with, with personal safety, gun safety, and also cybersecurity. And this brings us to why we are here. Even though all of those are true problems facing higher education in general, and community colleges in particular, this is where AI can truly be an opportunity for us to truly change something. We, for the first time in our lives, higher education has always been in the lagging indicator for technology, but this is the first time AI can truly move higher education into leading part of the technology, and that's why I'm super proud of being here. We built a product called Lightleap AI, which is built on the best AI technologies, which is which I'm not gonna name, which is Llama 3 and others, but also built on your private AI environment so that each institution gets their own version of ChatGPT or Llama 3. The reason why this is important is because it allows you to do your long-term opportunities and allows to serve students in the way they like to be served. Students can get the information and help they need based on their own data. Faculty can get help on their course content to make their course content more AI ready. And it also helps you solve problems so that when a new applicant comes in, you can identify whether this applicant is potentially fraudulent or not. And it also helps advisors focus their time on advising instead of complex paperwork, transcripts, and degree works, degree audit, if you like. So let's take a tour here. Imagine a system where just like ChatGPT, a student can say, show me my transcript show me my bill, show me my academic history, show me what financial aid do I have. All the tools for self-service the student can ask, instead of going through arcane self-service systems and portals and pages and others, student using natural language processing to ask this question. But imagine if the student can ask this question in their own native language, whether it is Spanish or Korean or French or Vietnamese or whatever that, may, that might be. But also imagine if the system is not only letting them answer the question using the power of Gen AI, but also allows them to register for courses, pay their bills, accept their financial aid. This is no longer a hallucination or a sales tactic. This is a real product that we have built in collaboration with some of our customers in California community colleges. And this can be a game changer because it allows students to be able to get the services they need not only for their administrative operations, but also so that student can say, hey, what jobs should I pursue? What major should I pursue based on my career as well? And there's a real problem as well, like we Paul and Jay were saying, is that on one hand, we want to be accessible, but we have a real problem with community colleges because we accept every student. And because of that, the fraudsters have identified that every one of our social security numbers, date of births, first names and last names is on the dark web. Like you've seen here, your SSN is on the dark web. I'm not kidding. You can look it up on this cover and you will know that we are at risk. But they are not just keeping this information. They are using it to apply for financial aid and causing a real havoc for community colleges. So we have took it, our, took it upon ourselves, thanks to some of the leadership by Dr. Lambert and Jory and from Foothill De Anza and several partner institutions to build an AI product so that as soon as a student applies for admission, they can be identified on whether they are truly a good student or a fraudulent student and immediately stop them from even registering for courses. 
I want you to hear from an actual president of a, one of your peer institutions on what her feedback was with our AI model for fraud detection. We no longer have a problem with fraudulent enrollments as a result of the combined efforts of what we had already put in along with the end-to-end -end light leap AI solution. Um, I'm very much hopeful now for the future for Santiago Canyon College because I know our enrollments are real. Our faculty members are very much um, comforted and they are, have much more confidence in the administration that we are taking action in relation to these issues and they no longer have to be the guard that have to get rid of the students or think that um, they're dealing with the enrollments in a negative way. And so I think that this has turned out to be an incredible partnership. And I'm very grateful to Karen and the end-to-end -end team for being able to get the solution in place and getting us to a place where we are able to actually have confidence in our enrollments and for the future for our intercession and spring semester. It actually does a disservice to the students because they are not able to actually get into the classes that they need in order for a timely graduation and to be able to complete and get out to that workforce. So I think that what we have to do is to be diligent and to be able to really stay focused on what the real prize is here. The fraudulent enrollment problem is not just an enrollment problem and a, and a budgetary problem. It's an actual issue of making sure that our students are having the best chances possible by getting the classes that they need when they need them and not allowing the fraudulent enrollment and the bots keeping them from that goal. So I'm gonna end at this. There's a huge opportunity for community colleges to be a true leader in education by using the power of AI. In the first time in our generation, higher education has an opportunity to truly build student success by using the power of your data, by, the, by using the power of personalized learning, by using the power of threat detection and fraud detection so that students are spending all their time on learning and growing and become progressing in their journey instead of sorting through expensive portals, dealing with paperwork, and standing in line to get, get help. This is our first time in our life generation that we have an opportunity to truly transform education, and that's why I'm super excited here. I know we only have five minutes and I've, I've used up as much as the time I can, as I can, but please join me in the concurrent session tomorrow where we are gonna talk about AI beyond hallucinations, room 608, I would love to talk to you. I would love to hear your visions. And I would love to transform higher education by working with each one of your leaders. Thank you for giving me the time. Thanks, Jay.